We're in Belfouche talking some American Legion baseball with their head coach, Randy Doran. Appreciate you coming up to Belfouche today. Uh, in the background, we got the uh, 14U Teener Regionals going on, so hopefully we can get this wrapped up before a foul ball comes our way. But uh, always great to have you guys up here to talk a little baseball. And uh, perfect timing for you guys uh, to be up here. Our Junior Legion team has kind of been on a roll recently. We went to... Uh, Fourth of July weekend, we went down to Spearfish, played in their junior tournament down there. And for the first time in a long time, uh, we put together four wins in a row, uh, played two games on Friday, won both games, uh, played our third pool play game Saturday, got the win as well. And then we played uh, Westco out of Scotts Bluff in the championship game on July 4th to take the Bill Hughes uh, tournament down there in Spearfish. Uh, great tournament they put on, and our players were just uh, ready to play from the first day. Our pitching was great. Our fielding, uh, we were able to overcome some issues at times, uh, but our hitting, continuing to do what they've been doing, getting guys on base, and then getting those runs home, really doing a great job uh, up at the plate as, they, as our young guys have been doing all year. And then we had a, a little bit of a uh, week to recover, and then this last weekend we went down to Rapid City, played in the Bullets round robin down there, and uh, we ended up winning that tournament as well. So. Uh, like I said, we've been on a roll. We finished three and one down there. Uh, we beat uh, the post 320 risers. Uh, we lost a tough game to the Bullets. Uh, kind of ran out of pitching uh, that first night. Wanted to make sure we had guys ready to go for our Sunday games, and then we were able to get a big win over Gillette. Uh, the wrestlers, they've been, you know, they're they're a great team, great record. They've kind of had our number all year. Uh, they've beaten us multiple times, but to be able to get that win uh, was really uplifting for our guys. And then we were able to finish off by beating Sturgis uh, to finish 3-1. Uh, we were the only team with a 3-1 three and, three and one record. Everybody else had a 2-2 record or lower. So uh, able to come away with our, our second uh, tournament victory of, of the season. And um, just like in the Spearfish tournament, our, our hitting was awesome. Our guys were putting the bat on the ball, having great at-bats. Uh, and we were able to really uh, build up some good, some good leads, uh, weren't able to finish the games by the run rule as early as I'd like. We're getting close. Uh, we just haven't been able to get to that point where once we get a lead, to keep adding on. We kind of get that lead, and then I think, uh, I wouldn't say they let their guards down a little bit, but they start pressing a little bit, and uh, fortunately, that last game at Sturgis, we were able to finish that off with the run rule early, but some of those other games, we had a, a decent-sized lead, and we weren't really able to capitalize. So that's something that we've been talking this week as we head into our uh, regionals this weekend so we're going to play our junior legion regionals up in northeast south dakota this weekend and hopefully uh, with that team try and uh, work our way towards possibly getting an opportunity to play in the state tournament yeah randy all the success doesn't it just doesn't happen i mean you great coaching and a great culture here in belfouche a lot of great volunteers uh, kyle and jason it's it, it's got a great program uh, it's it's been great it's been fun um Definitely, you know, fortunately we've had some really just good natural athletes that have been coming through, especially with this 16 and under age group. Uh, not only are they, are they athletic, but they're sticking out, they're sticking with baseball, and that's how we are able to build that foundation for that younger team. We, now, we've got some great older athletes on our team as well, our 18-year-old kids. We've got a 17-year-old kid on our roster, uh, but we just don't have the, the numbers at that age group to really kind of build around them like we are with this younger team. Um, but when we do put them all together on that varsity senior roster too, uh, you know we got a chance for some great things to happen there as well. And uh, you know it, it all kind of starts. It, it doesn't start with me at all. I'm not really like to put myself in the picture at all. It all starts uh, from the parents and the the youth coaches they've had growing up, especially with this group right here. Uh, I know a lot of these guys have played together for a long time, and through the the little league system, and then I've just been able to take them over the last year and a half. And the, the ability there, the potential's there. And fortunately, we're just kind of getting these kids to believe and be able to play at the ability that we know they're able to play at. And um, it's been really fun. It's been a really fun couple weeks. And we have some really fun weeks ahead of us uh, if we can keep doing what we've been doing. And Randy, upcoming games? Yep. Our junior regional is coming up this weekend. We are going to travel to northeast South Dakota. We're going. It's going to be hosted by uh, Warner Ipswich Northville. and. We're going to go up there and we're going to play. It's a pool of five. Uh, it's us, uh, WIN, which is Warner Ipswich, uh, Clark, uh, Redfield, and uh, Groton's going to be up there as well. And 
Uh, you know, they're, they're all close by each other, so they're all pretty familiar with each other. And, you know, we're going to go in. We don't know much about them. Uh, they're not really going to know much about us, uh, but we're just going to go up there, uh, do what we've been doing, putting our le best lineup forward, and hope that our guys keep hitting it well. Uh, our pitching's really come around. Uh, we're really going to rely on uh, Dalton Davis, uh, Anthony Budmeyer, and Nolan Walfeld are kind of our one, two, three guys. We're only going to play three games up there, and got a pretty stacked bullpen right now, too. Uh, Sean Walfeld, he's going to be a, a good lefty. Uh, we got some younger lefties. We got Darian Fasica who can come in and throw strikes. He has a nice breaking ball. Uh, Aiden Voiles, he's kind of been our closer. Uh, it's nice as our starters, Dalton, but Anthony Budmeyer, Nolan Walfeld, they all throw hard. And these guys get used to finally timing them up by the fifth, sixth inning. Then we bring Aiden Voiles in, and he can he can throw strikes, and he can throw a lot of different pitches for strikes, and it just kind of ties them up in knots. And that's been uh, great to see him excel in that role. And then we got our, our emergency relief, uh, Gabe Heck. He's a guy, bases loaded, comes in, one pitch, one out kind of guy, get you back get you back out of there with the clean inning. And I know we're going to be relying on those, those arms uh, to really kind of help propel us to that state tournament. Uh, we just keep the bats going, uh, keep the defense short up, and we got a chance to do some really great things in our junior regional. And then the following week, uh, Tuesday is going to be our last varsity game, regular season game. And we're going to send off three really great seniors. Um, Gage Crott, he's kind of been the heart and soul of Belfouche baseball for the last couple years. Uh, phenomenal athlete, going to go play at college, and it's going to be his last chance to play here in front of uh, family and friends. Uh, Blake Vischa, uh, so glad that Blake's going to be able to have a senior night this year. He was a kid that even all the way up till April wasn't sure, probably didn't think he was going to play. And I think he eventually just missed baseball so much, and he's enjoyed this. He's enjoyed being back for his senior year. And then lastly, Cody Rakow uh, came over to us from Lee Deadwood. Didn't want to stop playing baseball after his senior year at Lee. Um, and he's been a great addition to our team. Uh, really excited to send those three guys out with the last home game of senior night. Recognize them uh, before we take that senior team to Gregory for our senior regional. Well, Randy Doran, always appreciate uh, taking time to visit with you here on Black Hills TV. I appreciate it, Dwight. Thanks for coming up, and hopefully we can see you guys sometime after the state tournament, uh, give you a recap on the season, and uh, tell you how things shake out.